guys welcome back to my channel good to have you guys back here again on this channel if you're watching me for the first time my name is Lizzie. today I'm going to show you all how I achieved this island braids on myself so here are my extensions and I'll be using this ones I actually used them before in my previous videos so I just fished them out and we used them but it's advisable for you to use new ones but as for me hair does not last on my hair like because I make tutorials and make videos on how to braid how to make hair so hair does not stay on my head for more than two days two days at the most so I went ahead to mix them together and I had this beautiful combo so right now I'm going to pick some parts of the extension and then just twist it up on my flexi rod like this because I want to achieve some curls on this particular island braid that I'll be doing today so I pick some extensions and then just fix them on my flexi rod and secure them like this I'll be placing the curls all over my head so I had to make more the extension that I'm using today is from expression so twist that up and then secure like this so right now I'm going to pour my conditioner in a bowl of hot water then I'll dip the hair inside the hot water for about a minute and then take them outside to dry or you can as well blow dry them so right now I'm going to section my hair like this so once you section apply your edge control just to make sure that your hair is secured and there is nothing interfering so I had to go in with this got to be glue edge control and I applied it and as you can see in the video my hair is quite short so I didn't want anything to interfere so I'm going to section my hair like this again apply the glue and then braid so this is me dividing my hair into three legs and I'll braid that down three times before I go ahead to add my extension so I'm going to pick my extension and then braid just once once I take it to the left I take it to the right again pick up another extension and then place that at the same angle braid again take it to the left and take it to the right again so what I did in this video was I picked up extension I added extensions to my hair three times but in this first braid I don't know what happened I guess I missed the clip so after applying three times I'm going to divide the third leg into two and then I'll start twisting so I'm going to twist to an extent I'm going to twist to an extent and then when I get to a point and I discover that it's not as long as I want it to be I'm going to add another extension so, so this is basically just how you are going to increase the length of your extension just in case it's not enough just go ahead to add another extension and then continue with the same method of twisting that you were doing just continue with the same method if it's not long enough go ahead to add extension again so right now I'm going to knot it this way like this I'm going to section the tail of the extension and then knot it twice like this so that it's secured and then I'm going to basically repeat the same thing all over I'm going to go ahead again to section my hair and then once I section I'm going to apply the edge control and then start braiding and I'm going to braid three times you can braid three to four times since this is a not less braid braid three to four times and then go ahead to pick up your extension and then just place that in this area like this then braid again to the left to the right pick up your extension again apply it just braid again to the left to the right and since my hair is really short I had to go in three times so I'm going to pick up my extension again and braid the same way so once I'm done picking up the extension I'm going to braid that down three to four times so that everything is secure and so that I can be able to hide my hair in a little bit and then I'm going to divide the extension into two and then start twisting so this is basically what I'm doing right now I'm just twisting and twisting and twisting so when I see the extension and I discover that it's too short I'm going to 
add more extension to it now you want to make sure that your twist is very very tight so that it's secured and so that it doesn't unravel so once you twist to the end all you have to do next is you can as well twist it down towards the end it's not really going to move but i prefer to secure properly by knotting the end of the braid twice so i'm just going to knot it like this twice So guys while twisting when you get to a point and you discover that one leg is thinner than the other leg just divide the fuller length into the thinner leg and then continue twisting so when I get to the end of this one I'm going to fish out a little bit of the extension again and then I'm just going to knot it twice
so guys i'm going to show you all two ways that you can add your curls to your hair so i'm going to pick up my curl right now and then attach it to the extension that i am twisting and then take one part of it above my hair just so that it doesn't interfere with the twist that i'm trying to make and basically just twist the rest of the hair same way that we have been doing before so as you can see in this video when i started um making my hair i didn't add the curls to my hair and that was because i wanted to make my own curls and at the point where i was making this particular video they were not ready but that notwithstanding it doesn't change anything at all so i'm going to show you guys the second way that you can add your curls to your hair and this is basically the style that i used throughout in this video second way that you can attach your curls to your hair is once you're done twisting once you're done with your twist just go ahead with your crochet pin and then place the curls where you want them to be and then secure it by knotting it twice and that is it basically guys this also does the work once you're done twisting just go ahead to attach your curls to your hair and then knot it twice right now i'm going to fish out the ends of my hair and then wrap them up on flexi rods like this because i want to achieve curls at the ends of my hair so i'm going to wrap them up like this and then once that is done i am going to place them inside hot water but once you're doing this make sure that you apply your conditioner because it just has this different effect once you do that so apply your conditioner in the hot water and then place your hair in the hot water and once that is done just pick them out after about a minute remove them and voila guys right now i'm going to pick up my mousse from above and then just apply this on my hair because i don't want any flyovers from my natural hair and i'm also applying this mousse because i don't want any white cast from the edge control i'm going to wrap my head and leave it for about five minutes and once that is done i'm going to remove the scarf and then go in with an oil sheen and also it got to be glue freezing spray so i'm going to lay my edges right now and then show you guys the finished look so this is it guys i'm actually loving this whole look i love it a lot i can't really say for sure how many hours it took me to achieve this because i didn't finish it that very day i had to rest it was the next day as you can see in this video i had to change my dress it was the next day that i finished this particular hair I enjoyed every bit of this particular tutorial thank you guys for watching this video I do hope that you enjoyed it and you loved the hair if you did please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and share if you've not turned on your notification button please do that so that each time I post you get a notification and you'll be the first to know I'm also going to link some of my previous videos to this particular one because there is just a lot that you can learn from this channel thank you all for watching and um, i quickly showed you guys in this video how to style this beautiful hair and i hope that you love it because i loved it a lot i will see you all in my next video bye